If you've been talking about gun control, you're not alone. It's on the minds of many Americans coping with the tragedy in Newtown. But you may be surprised by what we learned when we looked at the facts about guns and violence. Investigator Sarah Buddison joins us tonight with the truth about guns. And Sarah, what did you find out? Danita, the tragedy in Connecticut makes us all feel like we're living in an increasingly violent world. But that's not what statistics show. It was a busy weekend at Stonewell LTD for Diane Donnett. She owns the Broadview Heights gun shop and shooting range. People are beginning to become more afraid of what's going on in society today. The tragedy in Connecticut can make it seem like the U.S. is becoming more dangerous. But we found the opposite is true. The truth is that schools, even in spite of this horrific incident that happened last week, schools are still the safest place uh, for children in this country. Wendy Regacy is the director of Cleveland State University's Criminology Research Center. Children are, are far less likely to be injured or killed um, at school than they are um, almost anywhere else. There was a rate of one to two homicides per one million school children in 2009 lower than at shopping malls, street corners, and homes. That's not all. Although some people may be surprised to hear this, we are actually on a decline in terms of the level of uh, gun-related violent crime that occurs in the U.S. The numbers of firearms used to commit violent crimes dropped dramatically from 1993 to 2009. Gun ownership has also dropped. In 1977, 54% of households identified as gun owners. In 2010, that number was 32%. Donna doesn't buy it. Her business is booming. She says many customers are worried. There are more kids out there who are just like accused shooter Adam Lanza. They're hurting, and their only way to strike back is to hurt somebody else. You might think decreased gun violence means more Americans support tougher gun laws. That is not the case. A Gallup poll shows fewer Americans were in favor of a handgun ban in 2011 than were in 1959. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.